Marshall, and I'm one of the directors of Tales of Halloween. I'm the director of the final segment, Bad Seed. Can you tell us a little bit about it? No spoilers. Uh, it's no spoiler to say it's about a killer pumpkin. And it was kind of like very much inspired by the likes of Jaws and Gremlins and a little bit of Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Ooh, sounds very exciting. Um, how did you get involved with the project? Uh, mainly because my wife uh, came up with the whole idea. Um, so I didn't have much choice. <laughs> so you kind of had to take part in it. Um, no, I've, I mean, as soon as she came up with the idea, I was like on board. I wanted to be a part of this. Like one, one way or another, I wanted to... I knew it was going to be a lot of fun. I knew that we were going to make something special. I was like, there's no way I'm missing out on that. So. Um, I mean, we've kind of had a revival of anthologies recently. How do you think this one's going to go, on, going to go over with the Fright Fest crowd? Um, well, you know, fingers crossed it'll go down a storm. I mean, it's like, you know, I think horror fans uh, and the Fright Fest crowd are very, you know, embrace anthology movies. It's very much a part of the horror tradition, I think. And I think that kind of stems back to, like, campfire tales you know people sitting around a campfire yeah. and each one would tell a tale and it would most often you know it would be a scary story most often so that's like the birth of the horror anthology and and i think that this is just like you know, the next step yeah i mean this is like this is the main event this is the big one it's probably the most anticipated film of the festival how does that make you feel does it make you nervous or do you think it's going to just blow it up pressure's on a bit i mean i don't you know it's partly because of the names involved i guess it's partly because of the it's, it, you know, it's had two screenings so far, one in Fantasia in Montreal, one in Chicago last week, and the word of mouth coming from those has just been absolutely overwhelmingly great. You know, amazing reviews. So, yeah, I guess that's kind of built up the, the pressure a bit. And, you know, but so it's, it's kind of nerve-wracking, but I'm confident that you know, we've made a film for the fans. We've made a film for people who love horror, who love Halloween, will will get this, will embrace this. Yeah, it's kind of a love letter. And there's any number of drinking games being done with it as well, so as far as like spotting the cameos, right. connecting the, the what, see what, uh, what which parts connect the stories, because there's lots of Easter, there's so many Easter eggs throughout the whole thing. And there's so many cameos from like people from the horror world and genre world, that, I mean, if you tried to have a drink for every single cameo in there, you would just be in hospital by the end of it. There's so many, so anyway. but you'll see. I'm so excited to see it. Uh, one last question: What are you doing next? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I, I, I desperately want to do a feature. I desperately want to do a genre film, uh, and, so, and the plan is to do one of those in January. Um, you know, touch wood. <laughs> we are so excited to see it. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you. You must be so warm. Either.